हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई पंकज दुमका वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस डिस्कशन ऑन पाइथन फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर्स टुडे वी विल बी प्लॉटिंग डीजल साइकिल इन जुपिटर नोटबुक सो लेट अस स्टार्ट द प्रोसीजर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज यूजुअल लेट अस इंपोर्ट द इमेज सो द डायग्राम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इज द डायग्राम फॉर डीजल साइकिल वेयर वन टू टू एंड थ्री टू फोर आर रिवर्सिबल एडियाबेटिक प्रोसेसेस एंड टू टू थ्री इज कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेशर हीट एडिशन एंड फोर टू वन इज कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम हीट रिजेक्शन द मिनिमम वॉल्यूम सॉरी द मैक्सिमम वॉल्यूम एंड मिनिमम प्रेशर एंड द मैक्सिमम प्रेशर आर नोन टू यू लाइकवाइज द कंप्रेशन रेशो इज ऑल्सो नॉन टू यू दट ऑफ रेशो दैट इज द वॉल्यूम टिल द हीट इज सप्लाइड टू दैट ऑफ द वॉल्यूम फ्रॉम वेयर द हीट सप्लाई हैज स्टार्टेड दैट इज वी थ्री बाई वी टू इज गिवन टू यू एंड वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस सो लेट इज स्टार्ट बाई इम्पोर्टिंग द पाई लैब देन supply the minimum pressure let us say it is 10 bar the maximum pressure let us say it is 20 times of this the maximum volume let us say it is 0.5 and uh, now then we start by our processes let us say for 1 to 2 process Uh, let me write this process. So for process one to two, as uh, this is reversible adiabatic, so uh, P one, P one is uh, P min, and uh, V one is V max. Now we can find out the constant along this particular reversible adiabatic line that is C one, and that will be P one into V one to the power gamma. So we have to de uh, define this uh, gamma as well, which is 1.4. Moreover, the compression ratio, let us say it is 4, and the cutoff ratio, let us say it is 1.5. So this is all about point one. So now point one is known to you. So point two, that is volume at point two, can be evaluated. So V two will be equal to sorry, it is V two will be equal to V one divided by R. Now this process is clear. So point number two volume is known to us. What about the pressure? Pressure there is also known to us. So the pressure at point two will be P max. Now comes the process uh, two to three. So here P two and V two are known to us. Now about three. Now pressure at point two will be same as pressure at point three, so P three will be nothing but P two. And what about the volume here? So volume at point three is R C times volume at point two. So V three is equal to R C times volume at point number two. So P three and V three both are known to us. Now comes the uh, point four. So if you look closely, so let us say this is again a reversible adiabatic. So let us say that the constant along this particular curve is C two. So how to find out this? So let us say I am going for process three to four. So this C two will be uh, P three V three to the power gamma. P three V three to the power gamma, and uh, And now comes the point number four. So as one to four is isochoric, so volume at four will be equal to volume at one. So V four will be V one. And uh, what about pressure at point four? So pressure at point four will be this C two divided by uh, volume at uh, point four to the power gamma. Done. Now start the code plotting part. So, first let us plot the process one to two. So let us say 
so let me simply write one to two so let us define volume so it is length space from v2 to v1 let us say 50 points are there and p will be given by this c1 divided by v to the power gamma then simply plot v comma p let us say i am plotting this with red color and then show so this is your process then comes your process number 2 to 3 so as this 2 to 3 is a constant pressure process so pressure is not going to change so let us make go for volume lens space from v2 to v3 let us say 50 points are there and pressure let us create an array of zeros of uh, zeros having 50 number of points and this is p2 then simply plot v comma p let us say with uh, blue color so there is some discrepancy now the question is why there is some discrepancy this p2 if you look here we said it is p maximum but in reality what we should have done is we should have evaluated this p2 with this how that is instead of writing this i'd say let us say that i don't know this then this p2 should be this c1 uh, divided by v2 to the power gamma now that's it so this is basically a redundant information which is leading us to a wrong result so this is also known to us now what else um, next process that is sorry next process that is uh, 3 to 4 now what type of process is this this is again a reversible adiabatic so why not to go for this copy this and just change the values so it is moving from v3 to v4 and uh, this is c2 now please remember and change the color to let us say green done and then finally the process 4 to 1 sorry 4 to 1 so this is very much similar to this so but i am writing so look here what is constant volume is constant and pressure is varying so p is equal to lin space from pressure p1 to p4 from p1 to p4 let us say 50 points are there and volume is zeros because volume is not changing so plus p1 and then simply plot this v comma p with some magenta color and that's it so remember as you already know the compression ratio so this point you already know so there is no meaning of giving this maximum pressure in this particular case okay so you should remember this so the moment you say that initial volume is this compression ratio is this pressure and volume is already fixed here so it cannot go beyond this so this is fixed and this c1 you already know so the curve will intersect somewhere here only so there is no need of giving this maximum here so the maximum is not what we have given it is 20 into 10 to the power 5 instead it is 1 2 3 4 5 it is 7 into 10 to the power 5 for, for the problem in hand so next part is adding text so let us say it is v1 comma p1 and that is simply one likewise uh, text v2 comma p2 and add this to so what you can do is you can increase slightly this value let us say by 500 no it's not going let us say by 900 no let us say by 1200 still uh, 1800 
hundred. Now it is uh, somewhat visible. Four thousand. Now four thousand. Sorry. Yep. Now what about this? This is two. Then text. This is V three comma P three. And this is point number three. Oops, I have done some mistake. Okay. So this is point number three, and likewise point number four. This is V four comma V four and four. That's it. So this is your diesel cycle. So you can label them this cycle as well by volume and as pressure. That's it. So in this way, you can, you can plot your diesel cycle. Two reversible adiabatic, one isobaric, and one isochoric. So hope that you have you have learned something from this video. And thank you very much for watching. Take care.